All right, Brad, this is foot stretch number one. Right, and actually, it's more right on the toes. You're grabbing, uh, Bob's showing it from that angle. I got it from this angle. Come over the top, so your first finger goes over the knuckles of your toes, if you, so to speak, and push them down so you're... And the thumb is underneath. Yeah, right there, so you got a uh, anchor point or a pivot point. Oh, and you can really get a nice stretch, and you should feel a stretch across the top of your foot. We're stretching those extensor tendons. They get tight from the footwear that we wear, and we'll show you that in just a minute. But, boy, this is a waker-upper stretch, you know, Bob? Yep. It wakes those feet up, and you feel like a Ooh. mountain, strong like bull. There we go. So, Brad, why have the muscles on the top of your foot shortened up? Well, like I had mentioned, it's the vast majority of shoes are built like this where the toes have about a 15 to 25 degree incline like this. So your toes are always up in the air. This is a more appropriate shoe where the sole is actually flat. Right. And then those muscles and tendons do not uh, and inherently just shrink after months or years of wearing these types of shoes. And it causes problems. Yeah, there are other yeah, problems, too. Yeah. These pointy shoes compress the toes, right. decrease circulation, make bunions, all kinds of things yep. that we do not really Hammer need. toes. Hammer toes. Hammer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to show you two different options how to do that same stretch, and you'll see why you do whichever one works best. You can go on your knees like Bob is, and look how he's got his feet. He's sitting on top of his toes, and he's curling the toes like it was before. Plus, you get a nice ankle stretch in the plantar flexion range. I couldn't even do the, this at all bad at first. So how long have you been doing this? Oh, months. Months now. Yeah, it's one of those things that takes some time, but it's a nice stretch. You, it's easy. You use right. body weight. Uh, if you can get on your knees like this and hold that, it works out well. I'm going to show you another option. So you can do this from a chair, like I'm seated here, go back, and it's similar to what Bob was doing, but you're sitting on the chair, and you can control the stretch like this. Some, you can put a pillow. I got a cushion here. It's just a little more comfortable on the top of the toes. Whatever works best, it's your choice. And work it here and roll. And uh, this works nicely as well. This is something you could do, you know, at, Throughout the, day. at the supper table at work. You know, get not, people talking about you. <laughs> exactly right. So, you know, you're going to, this whole stretch, you're going to work on 15 to 30 seconds per foot at a time. The second stretch is the calf stretch. I'm going to show you a couple different options. First of all, heel flat on the floor, uh, knee straight, and then lean into the wall. This leg is not being stretched at all. It's just Great socks, man. What's great, that? Great socks. Oh, yeah. The socks are great. Highway 66. Yeah. Make sure your toe does not rotate to the side. It should be pointed straight towards the wall. Lean forward and then bend your knee and stretch again. It gets two different muscles. The soleus. You can't go wrong with the soleus and the yeah, gastro. If your calf is tight, it, you will put more stress, stress on the foot. Exactly right. And, you know, you can hold that 15 to 30 seconds. Make sure you do both legs. Uh, we'll go to another option. Uh, I think uh, these incline boards are the one of the best ways in Which my... you made. Yep, this one I did make. Yep. We have a video on how to make it. Did a good job. Yep. Uh, it is uh, one of those things you can purchase them relatively cheap, but is my favorite way to stretch the yeah, calf. Yeah, they work well out. Uh, so we go here, and it's nice because it's gravity, so you don't have to work too hard. And I go like that and just relax, let the heel go down, knee straight, and then... It's a Cadillac strategy. Knee, what was that? Cadillac strategy. The Cadillac, yep, it really is. It, it's, uh, it's really nice. It's really important that you get one that has a nice grippy surface here so your foot doesn't slide down. Right. If your foot slides down, it, it then it's... Not the Cadillac, it's a Pinto, and you might as well <laughs> not even have it. But anyway, that's another story. We'll go one more option. And this is a really nice option if you have some stairs at home. It works best if you have some shoes on. You put your foot so that the uh, balls of your foot are just past the corner. The forward. Yep. If you go down here, your foot will slide off. Put it there, and 
then again knee straight yep. and knee bend again gravity stretch knee is straight knee is bent you know you can do both feet at do once both, right yeah but if you want to get more aggressive obviously you can get more aggressive on one foot like that really nice to have a couple handrails to hold on to uh, again the same amount of time 15 to 30 seconds great way to do it uh it's you know my second choice maybe there you go <laughs> Okay, now there's one option. If you happen to have a massage gun and you put the... Uh, Which we are giving away. Oh, this is the giveaway, right. Bob. This is one of our massage guns. We really like our guns. They work well. Uh, if you're doing this with a massage gun, you need to have a round head on there. You should replace them or just put them on easily with, with our gun anyways. Turn that on and you get some good reciprocation going there. And we got a three second. There we go. Okay, now, one way you do not want to do it is going straight down onto the top of your foot. It will be uncomfortable and won't do any good. So you turn it 90 degrees so that the massage is going sideways. It's like a cross friction massage. And you don't put a lot of pressure on. You go by how it feels. Use good judgment. Actually feels quite nice. It's, it's a nice massage. It's working those tissues, those tendons, the muscles. Now the calf can go straight on. Ah, good point. Then you can get into the calf straight on. If you want to go sideways, you work it. Learning how to use a massage gun properly and using knowing the option. I really like it down in here, Bob. This is something that makes good me for you, Brad. makes me smile, Bob. Up in here, I'm a little more tender. Ooh, yes. Okay, we're finished. Oh, yes, Bob. Once again, we can fix just about anything oh, except side. for, oh, look at this, a broken, a broken heart. heart. What do you, uh, can you zoom in on that? This is very critical because this is a step that we have not taken yet. Pull that baby uh. apart. We'll fix it.